Hopping into the vessel space, there is an extra planet called Proxima B that has an environment fundamentally equivalent to Earth and is arranged in the reasonable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This star is extraordinary for being the closest star system to our own, after the Sun. This red small star is found 4.23 light years from our Sun, making it an intriguing target for astronomical examinations. The way that Proxima B has conditions looking like those on Earth piques the interest of scientists and enthusiasts. The same late advancements in innovation, particularly the new James Webb Space Telescope, have engaged cosmologists to recognize light emanating from the exoplanet Proxima b. This discovery could act as evidence that the planet is inhabited by extraterrestrials, lighting energy, and interest in the potential for life beyond our planet. Anyway, this finding is only one of the many exciting discoveries that the James Webb Space Telescope could offer us as we research what our new telescope may uncover on Proxima b. It raises huge questions about the plausibility of sending a manned mission to this far-off exoplanet. Stay tuned as we dive further into this puzzling revelation by the James Webb. In the event that you're enthusiastic about remaining mindful of the latest developments in the universe and its many wonders, consider buying into our channel. Make sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell to stay informed. Now, what definitively is an exoplanet? An exoplanet is characterized as a planet that orbits a star other than our sun, which means it exists outside the limits of our local planetary group. Among the exoplanets analysts have been investigating, none have drawn as much interest as Proxima b. The star associated with this exoplanet, Proxima Centauri, is classified as a red dwarf, characterized by its generally cool temperature of 2,872 degrees Celsius. It is fundamentally less massive than our sun and emits something like 0.001 times less light. The proximity of Proxima b to its star is essential, as it exists in the habitable zone, where conditions may be ideal for life. For us, this zone is commonly where liquid water can exist on a planet's surface, an indispensable factor for life. Proxima b has features that are remarkably Earth-like, including continents, oceans, and potentially even life itself. The presence of auroras could give the planet a greenish shade in its atmosphere, resulting from intense flares discharged by its star. These heavenly flares make a complex magnetic environment that could foster novel atmospheric phenomena. Interestingly, Proxima b is tidally locked, meaning the same side of the planet continually faces its star, much like how our moon orbits Earth. This results in a strange situation where conditions might be better for life. The surface temperature on Proxima b could range from minus 90 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius, making for a wide array of conditions. Finishing one full circle around Proxima Centauri takes about 11 Earth days, showing a much shorter year than we experience on Earth. Besides, Proxima b has gravity that is around 1.3 times greater than that of Earth, which would have implications for any potential life forms that could develop there. However, Specialists remain unsure about the exact nature of Proxima b's atmosphere. If it exists, it might contain essential elements like carbon dioxide, other minerals, and water, which are crucial for the biochemical processes vital for life. Regardless of the excitement surrounding Proxima b, sending manned missions there remains a significant challenge due to the enormous distance involved. Currently, a project known as Breakthrough Starshot is in progress, supported by Tycoon Yuri Milner. This initiative aims to develop nanoprobes capable of traveling at 20% the speed of light. These probes would be designed to visit Proxima Centauri, offering an exceptional opportunity to study our neighboring star system up close. The proposed speed of these nanoprobes is around 16,000 kilometers per second, which would allow them to reach Proxima Centauri in just a few years. Such a mission could provide significant insights for future generations, unraveling mysteries about Proxima Centauri and its intriguing exoplanet, Proxima b. So, what could these nanoprobes uncover when they finally arrive? Interestingly, we have already begun receiving signals from Proxima Centauri. These signals were detected by the Parkes Radio Telescope during investigations concerning the star, which was producing unusually strong flares that caught the attention of cosmologists, including Anderson from the University of California. He led the Breakthrough Listen Project, which aims to search for technological human advancements in space, helping our mission to understand if we are alone in the universe. 
This drive is part of the broader search for extraterrestrial intelligence, he said, including the collection and storage of various signals from space to create a database for future study. The data gathered has led to significant discoveries, particularly when Shin Smith, a tenacious student at UC Berkeley, started examining the signals during his work. He inadvertently discovered an intriguing narrowband radio frequency emission at 982.551 MHz. Penn State University, who succeeded in the signal analysis, commented that this particular signal represents one of the most astonishing finds of the Breakthrough Listen project, as it deviates from the typical patterns we have seen before. The Parkes Radio Telescope works by detecting signals over brief periods. During these observations, the telescope focuses on Proxima Centauri, then switches to monitor other areas of the sky to confirm that any potential signals originate from the star itself. Sophia explained that during about three hours of observation, a signal consistently returned during five of the 30-minute intervals when the telescope was focused on Proxima. However, when the telescope moved away, the signal disappeared, raising intriguing questions about its source. This highlights the importance of the discovery. Space expert Dr. RIT from the University of Pennsylvania emphasized that observing this kind of signal, which doesn't come from Earth, strongly suggests the presence of advanced technology. Ongoing analysis of these signals aims to confirm their extraterrestrial origin. Supported by the James Webb Space Telescope, which is being directed towards Proxima b, scientists hope it will soon detect artificial light from the planet, providing further proof of potential civilization. Abraham L. from Harvard University pointed out that if Proxima b produces artificial evening light reaching 5% of the normal daytime brightness, the James Webb could detect this light with 85% certainty, which would be groundbreaking. Proxima b is considerably smaller and dimmer than our sun, affecting the setup of its habitable zone. This novel characteristic means that the habitable zone is much closer to the star than it is in our solar system. Proxima b orbits at a distance of approximately 4.5 million kilometers from Proxima Centauri, resulting in an orbital period of about 11.2 Earth days. Proxima Centauri is known for its dynamic nature, producing intense solar flares that could pose challenges to the potential habitability of Proxima b. Moreover, the exoplanet's proximity to its star results in extreme temperature variations, with the daytime side being scorchingly hot and the nighttime side freezing cold. These drastic temperature changes could have significant implications for the planet's ability to support life. Proxima b stands out as the exoplanet that has captured the attention of cosmologists and researchers due to the wealth of data accumulated about it. However, it is not the only exoplanet that demonstrates Earth-like conditions that may support life. Within the Milky Way alone, a total of 55 potentially habitable exoplanets have been confirmed, with many more yet to be discovered. As our technology advances, we continue to search for and identify these distant worlds. For example, in our neighboring Andromeda galaxy, which shares features like our own, there remains huge potential for livable or inhabited planets. Additionally, within the larger structure of the universe, superclusters of galaxies present even more prospects. The Milky Way belongs to the local group, a cluster of about 40 galaxies, which is itself part of the nearby supercluster containing around 100,000 galaxies. Surprisingly, estimates suggest there are around 10 million superclusters throughout the universe. This raises significant questions. If the Milky Way is relatively modest in size and currently has 55 confirmed potentially habitable planets, just imagine the countless livable planets, or even those hosting life, across the vast expanse of the observable universe. The importance of discovering exoplanets lies in its potential to expand our understanding of our place in the universe and to answer fundamental questions about life and existence on other planets. The ongoing study of exoplanets allows us to explore the vast variety of planetary systems and examine the possibility of new forms of life beyond Earth. Additionally, these discoveries can deepen our understanding of how planetary systems form and evolve over time. The implications for the search for extraterrestrial life are profound. Exoplanets serve as prime candidates for harboring life and can provide vital information about the conditions necessary for life to thrive elsewhere. Ultimately, the study of exoplanets enables us to test our existing theories and models regarding the formation and evolution of planets, as well as celestial systems, thereby advancing our comprehension of the universe and our role within it. 
Exploring the vast domain of our universe has always sparked human curiosity, driving us to seek answers about our existence and the potential for life beyond Earth. The quest to find new worlds is not just a scientific endeavor, but a philosophical one, challenging our understanding of life, habitability, and the universe itself. As we venture further into the realms of space exploration, our advancements and methods continue to evolve, enabling us to gain insights that were once unimaginable. Ongoing missions to various celestial bodies within our solar system have provided valuable data about planetary conditions. For example, the Mars rovers have uncovered evidence of ancient rivers and lakes, suggesting that the red planet may have once harbored conditions suitable for life. Moreover, Missions to the outer planets, like the Juno spacecraft orbiting Jupiter and the Cassini probe studying Saturn, have revealed fascinating details about their atmospheres, magnetospheres, and moons, some of which may also hold the potential for life. The diversity of these conditions highlights the myriad ways life could potentially arise. The search for exoplanets has also broadened our understanding of where life might exist. Kepler's mission alone has discovered thousands of exoplanets many of which reside in their star's habitable zones. These findings have expanded the definition of what constitutes a potentially habitable world, allowing scientists to consider additional factors like the presence of moons, atmospheric composition, and planetary motion. One fascinating aspect of exoplanet research is the concept of biosignatures, indicators that suggest the presence of life. Researchers are developing techniques to analyze the atmospheres of distant worlds, searching for gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide that could indicate biological processes. The potential for using telescopes like the upcoming Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, or the Roman Space Telescope to search for biosignatures is generating excitement in the scientific community. These observations could transform our understanding of life's distribution in the universe. In addition to direct observations, the field of astrobiology has gained momentum focusing on the conditions that could allow life to thrive elsewhere. Scientists are studying extremophiles, organisms that can survive in extreme conditions on Earth, such as hydrothermal vents and acidic lakes, to better understand the limits of life. This research informs our search for life in what were once considered frozen places, like the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Europa and Enceladus, in particular, are of great interest due to their subsurface oceans which could harbor microbial life. As we look to the future, colonizing other planets becomes increasingly possible. Efforts aimed at sending humans to Mars, such as SpaceX's Starship and NASA's Artemis program, are paving the way for a potential human presence on the moon and beyond. These initiatives aim not only to push the boundaries of human exploration, but also to establish a permanent human foothold in space, preparing for further exploration of the solar system and beyond. Additionally, the potential for finding life beyond our planet raises important ethical and philosophical questions. What would it mean for humanity to encounter extraterrestrial life? How should we approach communication and cooperation with intelligent beings? These questions are not just theoretical. They are important considerations for future missions. Establishing frameworks for ethical engagement with extraterrestrial intelligence is an area of growing interest among scientists and ethicists alike. Furthermore, the ongoing discoveries in the field of exoplanet research challenge our understanding of planetary systems. The discovery of strange planetary configurations, such as hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit very close to their stars, complicates existing models of planet formation. These anomalies prompt scientists to rethink the dynamics of planetary migration and the impact of celestial interactions on planetary development. The concept of the Goldilocks zone, where conditions are perfect for life, is also being reevaluated. Research suggests that life could exist in a broader range of conditions than previously thought. For example, subsurface oceans on icy bodies could provide stable environments for life, and high-energy environments like those found around black smokers on ocean floors might also support diverse ecosystems. Public interest in space exploration has grown significantly, fueled by captivating images from telescopes and inspiring stories of missions like the Perseverance rover and the James Webb Space Telescope. Social media platforms have enabled scientists to share their discoveries and engage with the public, fostering a global community passionate about cosmology and exploration.